Hey guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to model this part. Let's open a new part and build it together. Uh, we need a front plane and I click front plane, I create a sketch and now I will pick a center rectangle and I will drop here that rectangle. 70 by 25 and I will extrude it 25 millimeter. So mid plane, if there is no reason, we make everything symmetric. I create on the surface sketch a circle and then a group of line. For now, we can do like this. This is not necessary. I will align this two point horizontal and sometimes in my other videos you can see I put directly here a construction line. I found it convenient. This is 20. I will trim these lines, trim entities, power trim active and just you go through the ones that you want to trim. Here we have three and here we got another three. Nice, we can cut it. Extrude cut up to next is fine. Now, here we look normal too. Same idea, in fact. Let's make it the way that I like. And I press my uh, right button, keep it pressed, and I pick here a circle. And I will do for rectangle. This is how I model in normal life. But uh, for the tutorial, sometimes inconvenient. I trim again. And here it was 15. Here it was radius 10. It's 20. Here it is 3. And I will add here one more tree. Nice. We close it, sketch, we cut it up to next. Up to next is important because if you do not do that, let's say you change your thickness and you kept, kept this in 25 and you change your thickness, sometimes the SCs are very crowded. That will not be cut in that case. So that's why very important to, to think about the steps. I will make a chamfer. 0, 05 and simply I will select all the surfaces outer surfaces it will be fine because it's difficult to put here a chamfer yes this is good so now uh, uh, our circles uh, holes we create on top a sketch the plane again a line and make it construction geometry and pick a circle okay it is 4.5 at distance of 6 we say up to next up to next or you can say up to surface you can select it and same going to be here when I'm modeling this kind of things, even I do not change plane, I just look in this angle and I know already here I have this uh, features that I can use. I keep the angle how it is and I put here a circle, which was even I will do differently. I will not put another dimension. I will keep this one control pressed and I will make them. Oh, it is not making. I will make them equal. Something wrong here. I don't know why. Okay. Normally it would work. Maybe not because of it. it is in the same plane. Uh, what was the distance? Here we knew it was 6. Because we are working as a sketch. And this dimension will be projectional dimension. Not like an angle or distance. So no worries for that. Extrude cut. We said up to next. Good. Whole wizard. 
I need metric four positions. One position here, one position here. Now we click our the control and we keep press. We say concentric and concentric. If you make any change now, because you make the concentric, this point will follow always this hole. Yes, this is good. Part one is done. Second, we got from plane. We plane placed a circle which has a diameter of 12. And after this operation, we say him to be 16. Or we can say also her. Let's not be uh, in favor of men always. Here we have a sketch on top. I'm going to get a line. I feel comfortable to work with lines. I make a construction geometry and I put here a rectangle with center. Here the rest is not so important. Just uh, 20 and this should be a 5 guys. And then we close it. We say 10. Reverse direction. And we're going to put a fillet of 4 in this 2 edge. Another command, maybe you don't know. We select a, the fillet, select 3 surface, and this 3 surface here for each box selected, and this will be rounded. This is nice, eh? Select tangency, we don't know to do that in fact. Select chamfer and a chamfer of 0.5 it looks small let's make it one yes it looks better so uh, we have here a nice cutout top plane sketch and I put here a line to be able to use and then I will create here another line then I will have an arc. I want to have same arc. So I put here a line that I can mirror according to that axis. Two objects selected, control is pressed, mirror, automatically done. Hmm? Good, right? So to make it a little bit like this will be better for when we are cutting. So the dimensions, here we got a 7. Here we got an a one, and I want this to be two, and maybe a height that's missing here, say eight. Here uh, I know why it's like that, but we can bring up to this point. It's not important. So it is done. Uh, front plane, plane selected. I need an axis. Uh, I need a plane here. Reference geometry. And to that point, with reference to front plane, I assign another plane. I say, OK, this plane is selected. And we create there a sketch. I press space so I can look from normal. So here, an arc. Here, an arc. Two time arc and now some lines. This is normal, this is in an angular plane. So I will constrain the start of this arc. I have here four, I have here a 10 degree, and this will be equal. So I select line and the edge and concentric equal. So everything below. Except this, this is missing a tangent C. We make a tangent, endpoint is now free, which is fine. I don't have so big problem with that. So after this operation, we select the sketch and we select profile, features, swap cut. And we cut this nice shape. 
Now we try to mirror. Done. Fill it. 0 0.5. So fill it here. It will be nice. This part will be expensive part, but yeah, we have this kind of things. Money is not problem today, guys. Here a little chamfer may be very nice. When I was making this kind of expensive designs, my bosses were saying, uh, "You are rich today. Make it from gold." I remember the days. <laughs> We created a sketch and a circle and we cut a uh, four depth. So because I want to place inside a thread, I want to have a thread here as well. So to make sure that I will clamp thread, thread there, clamp always stays there. Whole wizard, because we use metric four, it will be here and we only need to drop this surface and then control press guys. We select this point and this edge concentric the depth uh, up to next is good nice we got these two parts and now i will open an assembly i will open an assembly i will bring there two parts seems my parts are not saved and it's not uh, recognizing them and i will say here a new folder Example PP one 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 let's say and the, the part two this guy PP two I use a lot of same part number sometimes because these are just examples and uh, I try to be creative and give different names so here little chamfer. Uh, it looks good. We have an assembly. Components will be here. PP1 and PP2. I select and I randomly drop them now. The first will be fixed. We make here a right click and say it float. I select original first part on its feature tree and I select my assembly origin tree. I say mate to be constant. This is the most robust way of working, guys. You should work in this way. If you work with thousands of uh, parts in models, things will be very difficult. You should be very economic in, st in terms of using accesses, extra features. Otherwise, you will have big problem. So part one here. And uh, let's bring our standard equipment. I made here a, uh, I'm going very fast again. So let's repeat this operation. This was somewhere here. We go to mate. To be able to make concentric, we need to have two circular surface. I select two circular surface and it is done. It is free now, still moving. Also, you can see here minus. We will constrain it later. Toolbox. Then washers plain washers this guy first guy is selected this seems for big bolts we close secondly this one for uh, metric for this bo this one is looking not bad what is the size of this then but I want to have an equal one. So that's why let's try this one as well. Create part. I forget what I was using. Yeah. Inside 4.7, uh, outside 12. Normally this part will be in a plastic part huh? in between to not create and uh, some uh, wear on the surface. And I just dropped it. It is uh, recognizing by himself the location. And I will give. Um, we don't need this. I will give this relation made. So this is good. What are we missing is bolt. 
we go to bolts uh, not this one hexagon socket screws screws and uh, then uh, 912 metric 4 by 12 is good guys I like it for this one we just bring to the location that we want to drop made already appearing next to your cursor you see there and uh, yeah we are pretty much done in fact now what I'm going to do copy copy this guy copy this guy and copy this guy if you click your alter on your mouse uh, on your um, keyboard in fact you can have this option you can assign mates for example this is a mate and now we're gonna make another alter and here we have this uh, mate for this one it might be tricky but let's try okay it recognized already the, the concentricity and I will do again alt is pressed and I come here no it does not recognize I will make alt this one yeah this does yes we have done so it saves some uh, time but uh, not very convenient because it's not covering everything we go manual mate to be able to make consent uh, coincident we select two flat surface and uh, we got this edge and we got the slit surface we are done guys you should be proud yourself and uh, we can also uh, position them because they are rotating maybe you can think what the uh, hell happening here top plane selected made and make it here but parallel hmm. then you will not have any issue parallel to here and something strange happening on my computer I don't get it mate this one and this one yeah parallel this one and this one parallel sorry this one and this one parallel yeah almost done we can put some colors now plastic let's say this guy is in this color and this guy in this color it looks not, not bad but it's a real model guys so I didn't fake it anyway uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoy video and learn something new